In this video, we will be solving one more CSS battle problem. Uh, so the, our target is to achieve this ta uh, achieve this uh, image here, and uh, we want to do it the right way. We are not going to aiming for the highest score or anything like that. We just want to see how we can create this. Uh, other thing is that this video is going to be a part of uh, a CSS battle playlist on this channel. So if you guys are interested uh, in more videos like this one, do check out the playlist. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to see here is uh, is this part which is sort of the neck of the fork and then we have the root area and then we have a point so these are the three main things that we are going to style for and later we will use uh, you know shadows and uh, pseudo elements to achieve the identical things so let's get started uh, so we will create a div uh, let's give it a class of uh, neck uh, let's start style tag here and uh, we will start with the body so in body we need a width of 400 pixel not that it, mat uh, it matters because we are going to position the absolute and in the center bottom so let's give give it that so height will be 300 pixel and then we uh, want a background color this one yeah so this is the background color that we want now let's start with the other things so one is the neck so i think the width can be 20 pixel and uh, the height will be sort of like 60 pixel and what else do i need here uh, the background to just to just see it on the screen so yeah so this is the background now I need to place this uh, in the bottom center of the screen. So what I'll do, I'll say position absolute uh, left left will be fifty percent and the bottom will be zero. So now it's in the center. Uh, it's not exactly in the center. So for that, uh, what we'll do? Transform translate and uh, i just want to move it on the y uh, sorry on the x axis so translate x and uh, minus 50 percent so yeah you might have seen it barely move but yeah if i check it now so it's so it's it's right there now what else do i need uh, let's start with the other parts of the fork so let's say div and uh, class can be a root so root so which is referring to this area which is sort of a block for us so let's say root and in this root we want a width of uh, 140 pixel and uh, height of 140 pixel so this is the dimension for this now like we can make it a, a exact square like this and uh, try to uh, then we can do 100 uh, percent border radius also so let's try to do that let's see what what it gives us uh, now we need a background color for this also now i think every every shape is going to have the same background color so what i'll do i mean this is not recommended uh, in in real projects or anything but for the sake of this video we can uh, remove this from here this background color and put it here so that we don't have to put background color on everything so i can remove it from here also now i need to place this so you see this blue line coming uh, around the edges of of our body tag so we can give margin of zero so yeah this looks better now let's place this root on top of the neck so position absolute position absolute what else do we need top uh, not from top we will place it from the bottom so the height is uh, 60 pixel for this so we will say after 60 pixel we want this and uh, the left as usual 50% uh, from here and then the same property that we have here so I think the height is way too big so let's make it somewhere around 100 uh, i think it's still big but this supposed to be bring down 
I guess a little bit. So instead of 60, I will say let's say 50 here. And yeah, this this aligns perfectly now. What else do I need on route? I need I have already positioned it. I need a border radius from the left side and the right side. So let's say border uh, border left. Okay, so bottom left. That's what I need. I need this to be somewhere around let's say 50 pixel, and I need bottom right so i'll say bottom right here right to be 50 pixel so this is not aligning so let's say 70 70 so yeah it's coming fine now yeah this is fine now what else we need we need this point so let's say a div with a class of point hmm. now we need to put this on top of this block so let's say point here and in this point the dimensions are uh, same almost same as neck so width is 20 pixel and height can be 100 pixel let's say and we need to position this absolute i think absolute position can be put in the all style but let's not do that but then we have to give some styling to body also which which i don't want to and the bottom can be somewhere around so we need, we can just add these up so this one is 50 uh, the height is 100 so somewhere around uh, 1 150 uh, i can I can give this so 150 150 pixel yeah and uh, left left will be uh, somewhere around 150 let's see where it goes I can reduce it I think by 20 okay not 20 then 30 yeah so this aligns perfectly I guess now I just need to put some shape on top of it like to get that uh, round so for border radius uh, i think on the top left and top right uh, that's where i need so border radius is 10 pixel on top left 10 pixel on top right and uh, zero pixel on the other sides so yeah i think everything else is coming fine now we need box shadow for this one so what i'll do i'll put box shadow and we need to uh, get shadows like three more shadows of this so three more shadows are needed so let's try with let's say 40 pixel uh, 0 0 and 0 and uh, we can have the same color basically for the shadows so this so now I see the shadow there so this is the same like same thing I need to replicate for the other shadow it's just I need to increase the distance so this will be 980 and uh, this will be uh, 40 more so 120 so yeah so I got this I need uh, the other shape the inverted one just a second so what what do we need now is uh, we need the other uh, other shape which is inverted so let's try to do that by using a pseudo element so we can use before for this so point I need and uh, this will go in before I need content and part from this width is going to be 20 pixel which is the same height is 100 pixel now uh, the background color is not there it's uh, it's same as the body but just to see for ourselves we will put something let's say red maybe and uh, give it some positioning so position absolute position absolute so this is what we have now we need to move it uh, more to the left S sorry more to the right so we will say left and uh, 20 pixel so now it's coming in the center 
I think if I'll give it more height, we I need like ten pixel more so that I can carve the thing in between. So let's say if I give ten, and then I can use these border radius. So I'll just copy it from the point and give it here. So the border radius is supposed to be on the other side. So I'll give ten pixel here and no border radius here and ten pixel here. Which is not working for some reason. So let's say pixel, pixel. So yeah, now it's working. So yeah, this is what I need. Now I need to replicate. I need to give more uh, shadows to this before element. So I'll copy this one, and uh, yeah, I think it's same. So I don't need this color. So color. I'll say uh, the color which is given, which is actually transparent. So if I say transparent here, this will work. So let's say this is okay. Transparent won't work because uh, the ten pixel which are uh, supposed to come on top of it, like transparent is, it's showing blue in that case uh, for these ten pixels. So transparent won't work. I need to give it this color. Only so when I do this and this, it works fine. Uh, for this one also, I need same color. I think I don't need the last shadow at all because, yeah. So I don't see any difference here. I think uh, the yeah. Uh, I feel uh, this is all we need. Let's let's test this whether this is working fine. So yeah, it's a hundred percent match. So this this problem is uh, can be done with individual points as well. You don't need to create a before element necessarily. It's just that it's less code, or you are dealing with the less HTML in this case. So yeah, hope you like this one. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.